welcome back to Wisdom Chat Wednesdays on Be Made Whole TV. My name is Anna Esther and I'm so glad that you're a part of the conversation. I hope that you join us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Instagram or Facebook Live so that we can have this discussion. Now, I am really, really, really big on fitness and health. That's one of the things that I talk a lot about. Besides working out and eating well, I think one of the biggest things that we have to pay attention to is our mental health. Okay, that is the driving force for a lot of the things that we do or don't do. You have so many things going through your head and your body and your mind that the last thing that you're thinking about is working out or eating healthy. You're like, I'm just trying to survive actually. I'm just trying to make it through the day without breaking down. I also know exactly what it's like to wrestle with that when you are a person of faith, somebody that believes that God is a healer. I believe that God is able to give a sound mind and are, we are able to have self-control by way of the spirit. Absolutely believe it, okay? However, I also believe in the importance of seeking for help. I have a degree in psychology and education. Those are my experiences. That's the things that I'm exposed to. I work in social services. I sit through conversations with people. Now, I am not a licensed therapist. I am not a licensed psychologist. I have a brother that is a psychologist. Plug for him because I do want to have, I want to pull him into conversations about this as well. However, I have experienced Experience with counseling, with talking through, advising, with being able to sit through and connect people to the resources that they need, recognizing that I have a limitation. I don't know all things. So therefore, why, this is why we need community. This is why we're connected to resource because one person is never meant to do everything. And I think we fall into the trap of either idolizing somebody and making that person our sole purpose of existence. So now when they fail us, we are falling apart or we become somebody's idol and we feed into it because we're always trying to fix them or always trying to do something that we don't have the resource or the capacity and that no amount of love or conversation that you have is going to fix the issue. It is important to realize that this is why there is community. This is why there are people that we talk to. This is why there are therapists, there are psychologists, there are doctors so that you can get a diagnosis. Not so that you can become paranoid and freak out because of a diagnosis. I have been diagnosed with leukemia so I know that fear. But what I'm saying is that we go to find out what's going on with our body so that we know how to address it, how to deal with it. In that same way, we go to a therapist, a psychologist, somebody, psychologist, to help us to understand what is going on in our minds as human so that we know how to pray about it, so that we know how to deal with it, so that we know how to talk about it, and so that he, we know how to confront it with scripture, so that we know how to confront it with having conversation, with having accountability around us, so that we are not doing this by ourselves. Having somebody to talk through, having somebody as a safe space is not identifying you as somebody that does not have faith in God. Okay, let's talk through that. What are your fears? What are the things that you have thought about, even about other people? Okay, what are some of the things that you fear, maybe that you're dealing with, that you have had fear to ask for help because you feel like I should know better, or I feel like I should be a lot further in my faith or in my walk, or I feel like if I talk to somebody about this, they're gonna they, they're gonna make fun of me or they're not gonna understand and judge me. Let's talk about it, let's discuss it. What are some of the ideas or what are some of the hesitations that you have as it relates to counseling? as it relates to therapists, psychologists. What are some of the things that you've wrestled through? We're bringing awareness because of the need to talk about this in spaces of faith because it's not just rare for that discussion to be. I'm so glad for a lot of ministry and organizations that are bringing attention to this. We can't just try to pray things away, but then don't provide resources to help people walk through the journey. We cannot just talk about some, well, I'm going to give you resources, but we're not praying. Like there needs to be discussion about things like this. We need to be able to figure out how to hold faith and the facts and the realities of our humanity in tension so that we can have 
better intentional conversation. If you are a therapist, if you're a clinical psychologist, if you're a psychiatrist, if you are a counselor, I wanna have this conversation with you. What are some of the things that you've dealt with as a person that's providing help? How do you get help as a counselor? Like, let's talk through this. But God himself is like, connect to one another. It ain't just about me, love God. But remember, love your neighbor as yourself. I know there's a lot of issues. I know there's a lot of estrangement, but there's also a lot of mental health issues. There's also a lot of abuse. There's also a lot of things that have not been addressed or talked about that people are unable to communicate and connect with one another because of the damage that has been done. So let's address the damage. Let's talk about it. Let's heal. Let's be made whole on purpose. Why? Because we have a work to do. There is so much more to life than just living for ourselves and living by ourselves. Let's talk. How are you dealing with mental health? Talk to me. Meet me here tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Facebook and Instagram and let's confront it. Let's address it. Let's talk about it and let's get better. I love y'all. God bless you and I hope to see you there tonight. Bye.